It is one of the premier secondary institutions in the parish. Its doors were first opened to students on January 12, 1960. The campus rests on the hilly terrains of Highgate St. Mary. And its motto is Faith and Courage. If you've guessed St. Mary High, then you are correct and you've made it just in time for another exciting episode of School Zone. In the zone today, we highlight some of the outstanding achievers and leaders of this very institution. St. Mary High, forward we go. St. Mary High, let others know. With faith and courage, our school will grow. St. Mary High, we love you so. You're locked into School Zone. Keep watching. The school not only boasts an enviable academic record, it also produces students who excel in extracurricular activities and leadership. Let's meet some of them now. Hi Jamaica, I am Ashana Douglas and I am in 13A2 at the St. Mary High School. Now at St. Mary High, I am currently the head girl for the academic year 2021 to 2022. I have been an honor roll student consistently to this day. Furthermore, I am the Vice President of the Inter-School Christian Fellowship here at St. Mary High, as well as um, I have served as the Captain of the St. Mary High School Quiz Team from 2019 to present. I have also been a finalist in the Math Olympiad at the UE Mona Math Olympiad, and furthermore, I have been the Captain of the Spanish Quiz Team I have attained 11 CSEC passes, 9 with grade 1s, and 2 with grade 2s. Lastly, the lowest average that, that I've attained at St. Mary High is 83.8%, with the highest average being 94.5%. My name is Fazar Powell. I am in grade 8, and some of my accomplishments are I have gotten form captain in grade 7 and grade 8, and I have gotten the highest average in St. Mary's history, which is 95.9% and I have maintained 100% in seven subjects. My name is Alyssa Chin. I am in grade 11. Since I began my academic journey here at the St. Mary High School, I have obtained a scholarship from the United Nations Women's Guild. I have never gotten an average under 90, and currently my, ha my average is 91.4. In terms of extracurricular activities, I was a part of the quiz club, and I also was the student counselor for my class in grade 9 and 10. I am a Johnny Campbell, a grade 13 A1 student of the St. Mary High School. I am currently the head boy of this noble institution and I have been the president of the Interschool Christian Fellowship Club of this, of this school. I have been an honorable student since grade 7 and I am also the president of the Belfry New Testament Church of God Youth Fellowship. In terms of academic, I currently hold an average of 88.3. I have attained eight CSEC passes with five grade ones and three grade twos. I know you just heard about the wonderful accomplishments of these students and you're wondering how did they do it? Don't worry, we have some advice for you, so get your books and pens ready. My advice to students is that they keep their eyes upon God because without Him they can do nothing. And in all of their academic endeavors, they should not neglect their mental, physical, and emotional health. Have a strong support team. Make sure you're motivated each and every day. Get up early for school. Make sure you get dressed, get ready, get your breakfast, and log on early for class. And then 
just pay attention in class and then you can achieve anything. I believe that if students put God first in everything that they do, they will be able to reach for the stars and attain excellence in everything. And remain determined and stick to goals that you want for yourself. Don't ever be distracted by what the world has to offer. Just seek God and do what you need to do with your level of determination. Stay focused and avoid all distractions, especially in this new way of learning. One of my strategies that I use to cope with online learning is that I do not write notes while I am in classes. In my classes, I write them afterwards. Reason being, I try my best to interact with the, class as, with the classes as much as possible. I participate as much as possible and in the end, I learn a lot. <laughs>2019 second place winner of the Rita Marley Foundation public speaking competition and you're watching school soon. All children deserve positive parenting. Why not pamper us? Be patient with us. Make time to teach us and of course play with us. Celebrate milestones with us and don't forget to be our number one supporter. Do all these things and practice positive parenting today. And this is such a fitting way to end today's episode of School Zone. Thank you so much for joining us. If you watched our program and would like to catch it again, simply visit our website, gis.gov.jm. I'm Sandra Johnson, reminding you to aim for the stars and walk good. Who's old, who's old, who's old.